Hi everyone, it's Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be sharing how I created these two very different cards. One is more cute and one is more classic elegant. And I'll be featuring the Micro Patterns stamp set along with the Build a Basket die set. I really love the Micro Patterns stamp set because it's a very quick and easy way to add some patterns and textures to die cut pieces. I started out with a couple of different colors of pastel cardstock and stamped the gingham and the Swiss dots stamps from the Micro Pattern stamp set in ink colors that were just slightly darker than my cardstock so I could have that tone on tone appearance. Once I was done stamping the backgrounds, I used the little bunny die from the Build a Basket die set and cut out a whole bunch of peeps. And I did change up a couple of things. I decided to change the color of the yellow ink and the blue ink that I had originally used, but I'll be sure to have all of the colors that I used in my finished cards along with all of the products listed in the description box below for you. Anyway, after I was done cutting out all of those super cute bunnies, I decided that they needed to have some faces. So I used a brown marker and just did three dots on the face so I could have two eyes and a nose so that they would more resemble the Peeps candy. Moving right along, for the Easter eggs, I stamped the polka dot stamp and the chevron stamp on white cardstock. And I just wanted to show another way, if you don't have the right color cardstock in your stash but you still want to add a little bit of color, you can stamp with colored ink on white cardstock and then use very light colored Copic markers and still end up with that same tone on tone look. Once I was done adding that color to my Easter eggs, I spent, oh, I don't know, 45 minutes or so arranging all of my little elements onto a piece of white cardstock that I had die cut using the wonky stitched rectangle dies. And then to make sure I didn't mess them up, I pulled out a piece of press and seal and very carefully laid those over the die cut pieces pressed it down to make sure that they stuck to the press and seal plastic, and then very carefully peeled off the white cardstock from the back. I added some foam circles and sticky foam strips to the back of my elements. And once I had all that release paper removed, I very carefully laid that back on top of the white cardstock, pressed it down to make sure that they all stuck to the white cardstock, and then very carefully removed the press and seal wrap. Next, I used my scissors just to cut off those bits that were hanging off the edge, and then it was time to finish up my card. Next, I adhered that panel to a piece of yellow cardstock that was cut slightly larger, and if I were to do this card over, I think I would have had that yellow border be just a tiny bit bigger than it is. Anyway, I added that to the front of my white top folding note card, and decided to add some jewels using the Cozy Winter Mix from This Calls for Confetti. I stamped the sentiment Happy Bunny Day from the Spring Bunny stamp set and die cut it with one of the Quick Strips dies. And then to place that on the front of my card, I kind of had to add in a couple more of those foam dots um, in between the elements on the card to make sure that my sentiment didn't sink. And once I had that adhered in place, that's it. That finishes up my first card. Now, moving on to the second card, I decided to go with the more classic look. And also, I couldn't wait to put that basket together. So again, I used the Micro Pattern stamp set and used the Wavy Lines stamp and stamped that onto a piece of mustardy yellow cardstock, I guess. And then ran that through with the bottom part of the basket. I also cut the handle of the basket from the same color cardstock. After I had die cut the handle, I thought that needed some texture as well. So I just placed that in my Misty and stamped right on top of the handle using the same wavy line micro pattern stamp. I die cut a chocolate bunny and two little pieces of grass. To put the goodies in the basket, I like to adhere pieces, smaller pieces together first. That way it's easier to manage and I can make sure that I have them in the order that I want. So I glued the Easter eggs together and then put a little bit of glue on the back side of the basket and pressed that on top of the Easter eggs. Then I added in my chocolate bunny 
and then I added the grass pieces behind that. Some of the grass pieces were a little bit long, so I used my scissors just to trim those excess pieces off. Then I added tiny dots of glue on the bottom of the handle and adhered that to the basket. I die cut the bow from a piece of pink cardstock and added that to the top of the handle on the basket. Then I used my scissors to trim just a tiny little bit of off the tails of that bow. Now that the basket is all put together, it's just a matter of finishing up the card. I used the wonky stitched rectangle die to cut a piece of patterned paper from the Extra Bunnies paper pack and I adhered that to a piece of pink cardstock. I adhered that to the front of a top folding white note card and then I adhered my ovals to the front of that. I put a bunch of foam tape on the back side of my little basket and adhered that inside the oval and then it was time to add my sentiment and this particular sentiment is from the extra special stamp set and the banner is from the slimline fancy frames die set. I added foam tape down the center of that banner just to make sure that it popped up just a little bit and I adhered that to the front of my card. And that's it. That finishes up my second card. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, we'd love it if you would. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.